Welcome to another One Minute Waffle, this time on the Rit Filet 2017 Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, I have been developing something of a crush on Robertson Red Wines of late, which honestly is akin to developing a crush on your geriatric high school janitor. Because as far as the wine fashion police are concerned, uh, Robertson is a no-go. In fact, they would often belittle the marketing efforts of the small group of producers by referring to the area as the Robertson Planck route. Now, if you at this point get all offended and say, hang on, Robertson's lovely, you do so for one of two reasons. Either your nana lives there or you're from the future. Because today, as it stands, there really are some horrendous examples of wine commerce prioritized over quality or even human health and common decency. But very soon, I think we'll start to see emerging Robertson as a place that delivers some incredible, big, bold, fruit-forward reds. Because there are some quality-focused producers that are growing both in number and in prestige. And I'd go so far as to say that there's potential to have the kind of recognition that perhaps the Barossa Valley in Australia gets for these unashamed, thick-set, fruit-bomb Shirazes. Although I think even that comparison is perhaps a little bit unkind to what the guys are producing in Robertson because the red wines coming out of there now are supremely classy, especially in the area of Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc. Now, in case you wanted some background, Riet Filet as an estate have been owned by the Berger family for seven generations now, or 150 years, which is pretty rare on the South African scene. This wine is a double platinum winner at the National Wine Challenge. The National Wine Challenge is one of the few really reliable competitions, and uh, if you ever see these stickers, you can almost always rest assured that the wine is going to be quality inside. Not everyone manages to achieve this. Uh, I know the Old Mutual Trophy Wine Show is another one where actually a, a medal on the bottle does mean something, but you can't always be sure. Honestly, this is probably one of the best value Cabernet Sauvignon available on the market today. Weirdly, quite hard to find in retail shelves, but I mean, the nose, it has a nose like a proboscis monkey, just cocoa and oak spice and cassis and mint and tobacco leaf and violet and fresh potting soil. I mean, the list goes on. And then given Cabernet Sauvignon's reputation for being a tannic monster often, this is supremely soft. In fact, uh, it has only just enough structure to keep the waves and waves of blackcurrant fruit pastel fruit honest and making sure it doesn't devolve into some sort of a fruit bomb. I wouldn't go ahead and hurry up to finish this on day one because it'll continue to unfurl on day two and three. Enjoy.